hello friends welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about the pi installer how to include your database uh, within your uh, program i mean within your executable file we know that we can use pi installer for uh, creating a single uh, executable file uh, but uh, many people including me I mean I was facing this problem uh, whenever I create I have so to see this is this was the uh, project which I was um, creating so I had this one main file main.py file and I had this another pi file in which I had uh, this uh, database code okay so for creating the database I have created this function so uh, you know how to create so this is a SQLite um, database I have used SQLite 3 and see this is a function and I have called this function here and what does this function do it creates my tables database tables so basically uh, what I used to do was that I would simply run this uh, this file once and it will create the database for me uh, while running this uh, program uh, using this code but now if you haven't imported this file in this main dot py file so you can see i have uh, imported these uh, libraries tickinter pir employee file sale and then uh, this supplier so all these packages but and also import SQLite 3 but I haven't I haven't impo imported this db underscore create dot pi so when you uh, uh, use this pi installer what it does is it simply creates the uh, I mean it it takes all these uh, uh, libraries as requirement for your project and whichever are not imported in this file main file it will not take them as requirement okay so if if there is no mention of this file in this main file this uh, database file it will simply be excluded from your uh, this that main one executable file so you have to either you so you what you can do you can simply import this uh, this file here okay you can simply what you can do is you can simply import db underscore create okay so if you do that uh, like this import import whatever the name of the file so my uh, file has this name db underscore create so if i import it like this within this main file and when i uh, create a single file for this um, my program it will include my database in the main executable file and you don't have to uh, copy that database file uh, in that uh, uh, distribution folder or anything like that you don't need any of that or and it will work if you have your function like this but if this and this file if it contains a code like this suppose you know um, like that suppose if i create this as a class and i call this class like this if uh, un, uh, using that dunder method name name uh, dunder name equals main like this then it won't work like that okay so in that case you have to specifically import the that class from this file okay so so you have to mention that class name here and but i would suggest that you don't create a class and simply uh, and don't create the dunder method here simply uh, import this uh, file here or you can do uh, what i have done here so what i have done here is i have uh, imported this file here if underscore underscore name underscore main and this is where i have imported it and it uh, simply it, what it does it basically includes all this code in my main file also through this import so it works like that okay so, and if you don't uh, trust me i can show you the uh, working here let me show you the working so 
so uh, I will create a single file for my uh, this project so pi installer uh, hyphen hyphen one file hyphen hyphen windowed uh, windowed I don't know uh, why it doesn't work this window but let me try if you know that windowed we use this uh, command for uh, uh, not allowing that console window to appear while running your program but it doesn't work here and uh, some people suggested to use no console but it also doesn't work but let me try and I will simply write main.py okay so this is my command for uh, py install and uh, okay so uh, let me try this okay uh, but uh, one more thing if we uh, create this single one file then all your images uh, if you have these images uh, for example I, I, I am using this image file here icon logo file so in that case I have to do more than this okay to in include these images and it won't work actually so I will not create a single file here I will create a distribution folder in which number of files will be there so uh, let me simply use this command window and uh, main dot file okay uh, and before that let me check if okay so i have these already the i have already these folders here so i have to first delete these folders okay all right so and this file also main dot spec okay now i will create my folder distribution folder again okay so I have run the command it will take some time just one minute I think less than one minute it is almost done okay so it is showing that building collect something oh okay so it is done it completed successfully so now let me uh, check this folder here and by the way I am on uh, this uh, Mac uh, a Mac system I'm Mac operating I'm using Mac so if you one more thing if you create your uh, this executable file uh, from uh, Mac it will be run only on Mac it cannot be run on windows and if you are creating this uh, distribution folder from your windows operating system then that executable file can be run only on your windows systems so whichever operating system you are using uh, that uh, it that file will be used only on that that operating system okay so so this is my main file here so let me run this so I clicked double clicked here okay so it is giving me some error all right okay so images so basically uh, see um, so it is telling me that images are missing so I have I will simply copy these images from here one two and three I am using these images in my uh, program so I have to include these uh, images uh, in my distribution folder also so simply go to that folder this is my distribution folder this is the folder okay so simply paste these images here what whatever dependencies whatever resources you are using you simply paste those resources here and now again run this file and now this is opening my software so this you can see this is a beautiful uh, software i mean i'm using icons here uh, logos here something like that and let me check the database okay if it if the database is created or not so i have uh, created two tables for one for employee and one for supplier okay so if my database is working with this program it will show me the table okay so I clicked here and you can see that here this is my database okay 
for example if i want to add another employee of suppose id 102 and name let us say uh, david or any name whatever you want to take okay i am hiding here okay so i will put myself here okay david and now now i can save this uh, name like this save so employee added successfully so employee is added to my database and you can see it appears here okay so my database is working fine and similarly for supplier for supplier i have one database here so let me add one more suppose 102 id with name suppose sagar or contact number you can add any number and description you add something like that and save so supplier added successfully so you can see that my database is working so i hope you understood the trick you have to include the database file uh, within this main file that is how uh, this uh, database will be included in that uh, single file okay so uh, i hope you got my point okay this is my main file and i have included this import dv underscore create or you simply write this code this code if i simply copy it from here copy like that and paste this whole code here it will work okay so your aim is to put somehow import this code in the main file that's the main aim and it will work so i hope you got some help from this video and if you have got some help please like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, further videos to watch my upcoming videos and if you have any still any doubt about this um, topic you can ask in the comment box all right that's all for now thank you take care bye bye